Hi everyone, today I am going to show you um, how to use PowerSchool and PowerTeacher Pro to hopefully make the school year a little bit easier for you. The first thing that I want to just highlight is um, the web address is kipstl.powerschool.com slash teachers and that's going to bring you into this page where you sign in. Um, you will receive a login and once you receive your login you'll go to this web page and sign in. There you go. And when you sign in, this is what the sign in page will look like. Um, this is where you will take attendance. What you'll notice right now um, is I can't take attendance because these chairs are kind I can't click on them. And that's just because it's in, we're in summer and so we can't take attendance right now. But when you are ready to take attendance, you'll click this chair and it'll bring you to um, something that looks very similar to this. This is what you will um, take attendance on. The first thing to note is that if a student's absent, you're just going to put an A in this box and you can just type A or there's a drop down. Um, and if a student's tardy, you put a T. So A for absent, T for tardy. If a student is present, you can either put um, P for present or you can just leave the box blank. That's fine too. So A for absent, T for tardy and um, P for present or you leave the box blank. Um, after you take attendance, um, you are able to um, do everything you need in your gradebook through Power Teacher Pro. So let's look at advisory. Now this is what you'll see when you click on Power Teacher Pro. Um, if you want to create an assignment, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click create in the top right hand corner. So let's click this button. Now in advisory, they have to bring progress reports back for a grade. So I'm going to put in a progress report grade. And I'm going to date it 629. And this is a homework assignment, so you have to select the category. You also, um, you have the option of doing points, percent, letter A through F. I always do points. Um, and then the due date. And we'll say this was due June 29th. Um, you can also, through this option, you can assign this to multiple classes. So let's say I had this due in advisory and in um, freshman ELA, I could do that. Um, or if it's just for advisory, you can just select advisory, but you can select multiple classes. So if I assign something in my central literacy class, I'm probably going to select both sections because I assign it to both sections. And you can type a description in here as well. So we'll say progress report week, um, week of 629. Save and close. Now when you score the assignment, you have a lot of great options. So I'm just going to go ahead and put, if a student didn't bring it, I give them a zero if they brought it. Um, so I would give them a zero, and I would also actually indicate that it's missing. So you can click that button right there. And say all these students brought it. Um, but let's say I get to Dewan, and I know that he was absent the day that I collected it. So I might put missing, but I can also scroll down and leave a comment. So I could say, um, Dewan was absent the day progress reports were passed out. And you know that that assignment has a comment because of that little blue box. So that'll just help you know when you look at your um, score sheet um, what's going on for that assignment. And let's say zero missing. If scores. And then the next thing that I want to show you is um, when I put in that assignment, you'll notice that I selected that was a homework grade for them. Um, we have four different um, categories for our assignments. That's homework, class performance, formative assessments, summative. Now these should already be in your gradebook ready to go, but if for some reason you need to make adjustments, you're going to go grading and then select categories. Um, our weights are decided by the um, KIPP St. Louis Student Handbook. So um, these, again, should already be in PowerSchool for you, but if for some reason you need to make adjustments, the um, categories are listed under grading. 
The next thing that I want to show you is how to look up student information. So let's take a look at Kobe, for instance. Say I really need to call home or um, I want to mail something home. You click on hit, you go to select students, um, and then you're going to select the student that you're interested in looking at. Once um, you're here, you're going to hit demographics. Right now we're under his assignments, so you're going to hit demographics. And then demographics will show you all of that good stuff. So his address, his age, his birthday, anything that you need is listed under demographics. So again, that's students, and then you'll hit um, which student you're interested in looking at. The next thing that I want to show you is how to finalize your grades. So at the end of each quarter and at the end of each semester, you're going to have to finalize grades. So the way that that works is you're going to go to grading and then you're going to go to comment verification. So you'll notice that I already completed grading for semester one of last year. Um, but let's say I also, um, and I know that because there's a check mark down at the bottom right hand corner of my screen and it says final grade status. Um, so, but let's say I um, was doing it for the summer. I could add a, um, go ahead and add a comment and say, um, Jaden is missing multiple progress reports. I add that comment, I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm going to hit final grade status. In order to finalize your grades, this box has to be checked. If this box is not checked, your grades will not be finalized. I'm going to hit save. I know my grades again are finalized because of this check mark at the bottom of the screen. All right. And the very last thing that I'm going to show you just has to go back into your gradebook again is you have a couple different options when it comes to how you want to view your gradebook. Um, you can look at the assignment list. Um, so this shows you everything that I assigned during semester one of advisory last year. But let's say I want to see, like, overall, how are my students doing? You can go ahead and look at the score sheet. So the score sheet shows you each student's grade. Um, it also shows you um, each assignment. So I can see all the assignments that I signed. I can also see um, this student was missing, this ACT reflection. Um, this person was exempt from the permission slips. Um, that's what that bar means. You can see all of that through the score sheet view which is really helpful. I tend to use this view when I create assignments just so that I can see um, what how their grades are impacted when I'm putting in the um, new assignment. You can kind of just get a, a good picture of what's going on with your gradebook. And again, um, the last, very last thing I'm going to show you one last time is if to get back to take attendance. So now I'm in um, my gradebook. If I want to go back and take attendance for another class, you just click Power School in the right uh, top left hand corner, and that'll bring you back to the attendance sheet. Um, I hope this was helpful and enjoy the 2018 2019 school year.